All right, in the world of when cars break, we're at Corsa Motors again. As you see, we've got the 50% uh, of the cars on the lifts right now are Maseratis. That's, uh, that's pretty standard. But uh, that Evo, Evo 10 right there, needs a motor through a hole in the block. But let's focus on my car. Because after I posted my video, I got lots of people suggesting um, different things on the car, from clogged cats to, and, and the good thing is there's so many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these engines out there. Uh, clogged cats, uh, I think I had timing chain or timing belt was another one, and uh, the coil packs. I'm going with the coil packs right now because we're getting a lot of misfires. So we went with the blue streaks from AutoZone, which are not cheap, $240. And I told Cosmo, $240 is a lot of money for coil packs. No way, that's my cost. Yours is $340. Yeah, my, my cost is now $340 because I have to pay Cosmo to go get them. You know what the guy at the parts store said? What? He goes, why isn't Jeff working on the car? Yeah, exactly. Why isn't Jeff working on the car? Excellent question. He's a lot cheaper. He's a lot cheaper. But Jeff doesn't work on, I mean, I think. What, on a Sunday? Uh, on a Sunday. Okay. What, am I We're taking you? this job, we're gonna maybe pay a couple of hours on paying James today? Am I, am I taking you from church? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Don't look so. at Chinese porn. We're gonna see what happens. And see if these coils fix our problem. And if they do, cost me 250 bucks, 350 bucks, whatever to get this thing running. If not, we still may be going the motor route. We will know shortly. Safe to say it wasn't the uh, foil pack. Could it be the cat? It smells like paint thinner. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so we swapped the coils. That didn't work. And at least the coil codes went away. These are the spark plugs, which were all brand new. I just put these new sp uh, spark plugs in. And Jeff Marlowe insists that it's clagged, uh, clogged cats, catalytic converters. We're gonna do a compression check real quick uh, before we go to the cats and see if the compression is Isn't matching. Is this up the first one to go? What's that? Cosmo, Cosmo's unsure. We're betting James Beard on this. My whole wife is unsure. Yeah, yeah. So Cosmo said that, uh, well, what are you saying? It, the well, you, coils you, aren't working. You got... That's just dumping fuel. You got spark plugs in Florida, right? I did get spark plugs in Florida. All right. And, that is what and let's just say like. it was one mile ago. Yeah, if, if that, or a half a mile. It's a half a mile ago. And it's ago. dripping oil, and they smell like gas. Yeah, but that could be if the cats are clogged and it's kicking the exhaust back into the. No, when the coil's not working and there's fuel, raw fuel getting dumped in, it's not getting ignited. Why, why are you seeing sort of the uh, the pulsing of the exhaust? You're seeing the uh, almost like it's got a giant cam on it where you see gaps in the exhaust gas. That's because it's a misfire. Yeah, it just. 
Yeah. What was that? Uh, <laughs> Alyssa's got a big uh, high lift cam in it, right? It's going yeah, out May, of May, yeah, tonight. exactly. They, they just dropped. <laughs> We're going to start this thing up. It's going to be a nine second car. Yeah, we'll get these high nine. But not. Yeah, it's a little different than working on uh, Lambos and Ferraris. Yeah, the mechanic and, and then the boss. Box. Different hourly rates. Is zero good or bad? You're done. You're done. Motor's gone. You want to try another one just to see if... Uh... Yeah. Could be the gauge. <laughs> Could be the gauge, but uh, zero the gauge. is not a good number. Zero. And you know what? We tried that gauge on a couple of the motors in here this week in the roll. Yeah. The same with the plug. No, it's running yeah. so bad, dude. But you got to try this stuff before you tell someone it's a bad motor. Oh, you got it, huh? 60? Sixty's good. You want me to keep the bullet climb any higher? Yeah, yeah go, go, go. Yeah, it, it probably reached. It's Seven going eight. really slow in rims. There's no big jumps in it, but. I think it's over, man. Yeah, motor's bad. So you just made me spend 250 bucks. <laughs> A 300, but yeah. 300. Hit it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. You know what I like more than having to put a motor in something? Literally anything. Like, that's the last thing I want to do is put a motor in something, but we'll bring this over to Jeff. My truck is going to be done, so I get to use my truck and get this thing over to Jeff. Should we, can we even run it and hit it with nitrous? You see how bad it runs. It yeah, but like, can, can we can, do can, it while, can. not while it's idling? I don't know. It just can't get out of its own way. All right, the, the goal was gonna be like, if the engine was sort of shot, we were gonna hit it with a giant like 300 shot of nitrous, but uh, it's not even running enough to, to go down the road. That sort of defeats the purpose. Oh well, we tried. All right, well, let's get this thing up and running next week. I'll have Jeff pull up motor for it.